Hey guys, what's up? Right, so we have a new unboxing today. Uh, it's regarding the Seagate Personal Cloud Drive. So it's a three, three terabyte drive, and if you're planning to access your documents from anywhere uh, from outside uh, your network, your normal network, so that's my basically network. That's the that's the drive I've connected it for testing purposes. If you want to connect it, so uh, you should just go simply for this. Uh, piece of device. I mean, it's a brilliant uh, piece of hardware. Uh, what you can do is it's it's called the personal cloud. It's from Seagate. It comes in different sizes, uh, two terabyte, three, and I think so six terabyte, four terabyte. Um, quite easy. You can uh, you can connect your uh, telly. You can uh, back up all your computers and your devices, and you can even remotely. Uh, back up your phone and you can access stuff from your phone uh, quite simple uh, this is one of the new models as I said uh, from Seagate which is called the personal cloud this comes in a uh, personal cloud with two hard drives uh, this is the one with the single hard drive and um, I'll just quickly show you how it looks from here so you have uh, this port over here which is uh, the Ethernet port and you've got the power cable we're here so one port is for the power and one for port is for the ethernet jack uh rest of it it's um mm, yeah it's got these uh vent vent sort of uh thing over here and uh on the top you have this bright uh, led light and on the front it says seagate um so uh yeah it's uh, quite simple it'll be connected to uh, your uh, your uh, router and from there basically once it's connected to your router it can uh, it can do all the backups and uh, yeah uh, so it's it's a really good drive I mean it's brilliant uh, here is the bottom how it looks it's quite heavy in weight and uh, on the back also it has this uh, uh, button which is the the power button so I wouldn't really suggest you to fiddle with it uh, that's the reset button and uh, you have a USB port uh, for UPS and obviously you have uh, another USB port on on this side so all you have to do is you just have to connect it to your uh, router and uh, so once you've connected it to your router uh, uh, that's pretty much it and uh, what you need to do is you can uh, download this app for your uh, for your mobile phone and it's a Seagate backup app and uh, if uh, you've got this one for your Android and for your iPhone and uh, yeah this website I'll put a link in the description it give you uh, all the details over here and why if you need to access it it's quite simple you just go into your uh, network and it should show up over here as your personal cloud and once you go into your personal cloud um, it's uh, you know it'll just uh, basically it'll show up over here and you, all you have to do is double click it once you double click it uh, it will uh, probably open up this page if it doesn't all you have to do is unplug the unplug the, um, the the Ethernet cable and it should pick up so once you get this option it'll say register your device and here you just put in your email address and you create your account then you'll download the Seagate dashboard you'll install it and then that's pretty much it you can add users to to this account and uh, you could access your files remotely and everybody in the home uh, they can access their own files uh, you can make your own uh, sub sort of containers inside um, the hard drive itself which is which is brilliant so that's the purpose of it if you're using uh, this hard drive for uh, multiple backups then this is a perfect option uh, to get going with it so guys um, uh, it was it's sometimes a bit tricky to set it up uh, but if you have any questions and if you are struggling to set up this drive just get, let me know uh, just catch me on twitter or uh, just leave some uh, comments and i'll get back to you so guys uh, this is pretty much it uh, for the personal drive uh, uh, for the personal cloud drive from seagate i uh, hope you guys uh, found this a bit informative and if you have any questions as i said just leave it in the comment section below and i'll reply back to you and uh, see you in my next video then all right bye for now